Okay, uh, in our last class, uh, we discussed about uh, organo aluminum compounds, more particularly uh, organo uh, dialkyl aluminum hydride, trialkyl aluminum hydride, and uh, uh, alkynyl dialkyl aluminum hydride. Its preparation and its application in organic synthesis. Today, uh, we will uh, discuss about one more organometallic reagent called organocopper containing compounds. This organocopper compounds, in that the one particular example is called R2CuLi. R2CuLi means dialkyl, lithium dialkyl cuprate. So here, copper is in the presence of plus two state. So that is the reason it's a cuprate. So lithium dialkyl cuprate. This lithium dialkyl cuprate is also called as a Gilman reagent. So normally, there are many questions on this uh, uh, Gilman reagent. Write a note on Gilman reagent. How is the copper or uh, write a note on organo copper uh, compounds in organic synthesis? Okay, so uh, let's uh, give an entry. Okay, so how one can prepare a lithium dialkyl cuprate? So lithium dialkyl cuprate means R2CuLi. This R2CuLi is also called as Gilman reagent. Okay. So how one can prepare? Just by treating organo lithium. Okay. This is uh, uh, organo lithium. Ri means organo lithium. Uh, CuI. CuI means cuprous iodide. So there, there is a difference. Cupric means plus two. Uh, plus, uh, plus one state of uh, copper is called uh, cuprous. Plus two state of copper is called uh, cupric. So this is the plus one state. So we can say that cuprous iodide. So cuprous iodide, when it is treated with uh, two molecules of uh, argano lithium, it gives uh, dialkyl iodo dialkyl cuprate iodo dialkyl cuprate this is a organo copper compound and uh, one more thing so here there is a lithium iodide so uh, uh, i will explain here you can observe that in the presence of lithium dialkyl cuprate lithium dialkyl cuprate Let's give an entry. Okay. Right. So, lithium dialkyl cuprate is a monomer. In solution, it will be in the dimer form. So, dimer form means CH3 two times Cu. Li whole twice as they are un not unstable so uh, they have to be used immediately and these reagents are used in a substitution reaction as well as addition reactions so that means uh, uh, di in the higher dose dialkyl cuprate it is uh, uh, available as a monomer but in solution this will be available as a dimer and these are unstable that is the reason one can use it immediately after the preparation and this type of uh, organo uh, copper reagents are, are useful 
in the substitution substitution reactions and also 1,4 addition reactions. So 1,4 addition reactions means alpha, beta, unsaturated uh, uh, carbon addition. So here what is adding? Uh, you know that uh, dialkyl uh, iodo cuprate uh, act as a source of R. Suppose R is equal to methyl, it will act as a source of methyl. If R is equal to ethyl, it will act as a source of ethyl, more particularly in the form of carb anion. So that means R will be added to the substrate in the form of anion. So that is the reason it is useful in uh, what is called as substitution reaction. Substitution reaction means uh, what is called living group uh, is going out and uh, nucleophile Nucleophile is in the form of R, which is attached to a copper. Uh, it is added to uh, substrate. Right. So let's look into the reactions. Reactions of organo uh, copper compounds. So these are of two types. One is substitution reaction. Another one is 1,4 uh, uh, addition reaction. So in uh, let's take an, uh, uh, substitution reactions. So look here, here I'm taking uh, uh, lithium dialkyl cuprate. Lithium dialkyl cuprate. So when it is treated with alkyl halide, so R1 dash X is called alkyl halide. So what is the uh, product? The product will be the uh, bond formation between the R1 and R2. Here, R2, which is attached to a copper, it attacks R1, and X is going out. And these two are the byproducts. Let's not worry about that. Uh, the product is uh, R2, R dash. Okay, what it means? It means that there will be a new bond formation between the two alkyl or a rail group. This is an alkyl, or this may be a uh, of course, this is an alkyl. This may be a aryl or alka or alkyl. So there will be a new bond formation between R2 of uh, copper and uh, R1 of alkyl halide. So that is how a new carbon-carbon bond, bond formation occurs. So in this, uh, we are also giving an explanation. So where R may be a uh, primary halco primary group or maybe a secondary group or maybe a tertiary group uh, alkyl and r dash may be a primary secondary or tertiary alkyl halides so that means this may be a alkyl primary or secondary or tertiary alkyl halide so this may be a primary secondary or tertiary alkyl group okay so uh, let's uh, go to the next one. Next, uh, let's look into the what are the types of substitution reactions is possible with the argano copper. So look here. This is the reagent I'm taking. So what is the name of this reagent? Name of this reagent is called uh, lithium dialkyl cuprate. Lithium dialkyl cuprate when it is treated with uh, uh, a substrate. So what is the substrate here? Uh, this is an X is an halide, okay? X is an halide and this X is halide is attached to a, a, a carbon-carbon double bond. So what is carbon-carbon double bond? The carbon-carbon double bond is also called as vinyl group, okay? So vinyl group. Okay, so what it means, this uh, uh, nucleophilic nature of copper attached alkyl group attacks this uh, carbon and X is going out. So that means this is the product is obtained. So that means uh, the R which is attached to a copper, it replaces the halide present in vinyl halide. So thereby it gives a substituted product. Similarly, uh, this uh, lithium dialkyl copper 
it can react with aryl halide ar means aryl group aryl group means benzene containing compounds so that means it is possible to do a nucleophilic substitution to the aromatic system normally uh, aromatic compounds uh, uh, exhibits electrophilic substitution reaction but in the presence of uh, copper it also exhibit nucleophilic substitution reaction that is the speciality about uh, organo copper reagent that means uh, uh, a nucleophile means uh, the r group attached to the copper it adds to the aromatic carbon atom and the x is going out so that means the octane compound is alkyl aryl group uh, alkyl aryl group compound similarly uh, this uh, lithium dialkyl copper can react uh, with uh, simple alkyl halide for example methyl halide methyl chloride methyl bromide methyl hydride methyl fluoride so the product is uh, an alkane okay uh, here i will take one more uh, substrate uh, the substrate name is a long chain uh, uh halide so r may, r1 may be a alkyl group so long chain so what will happen here there will be a new bond formation between this r group and uh, this carbon the x is going out so that is how the product is obtained a prime uh, what we can say that uh, we can say that a primary halide this also a primary halide okay Uh, so lithium dialkyl cuprate can react with primary halide so giving rise to a carbon carbon uh, bond formation product okay next here i am taking a, a secondary halide secondary halide when it is treated with the lithium uh, dialkyl uh, copper or cuprate so giving rise to substituted product so here what i am taking a substrate a substrate is called uh, i think you are aware about this uh, moiety this moiety is called uh, allylic uh, allylic halide this group is called allylic group allylic halide that means halogen present to the allylic carbon can be replaced by using uh, organo copper uh, reagent that means this x is going out they forming a allylic substituted product and what is this substrate this substrate is called this is uh, aromatic this is uh, alkyl group or alkyl halide so name of this compound is called or 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 alkyl or means aromatic compound alkyl means alkyl ch2 halide or alkyl halide when it is treated with uh, lithium dialkyl cuprate so it gives uh, uh, what is called as or alkyl uh, product so here i am taking c6h11 so c6h11 means uh, what is called as a cyclohexyl group so cyclohexyl group uh, a more particularly halogen containing one then what we can say that cyclohexyl halide so that means the halide which is attached to a cyclohexyl group can be replaced uh, with the uh, r group of the lithium dialkyl cuprate so forming cyclohexyl alkyl compound so what is the name of this compound this name of uh, name of this compound is called propargyl uh, halide so look here you just uh, look into the difference between the uh, allylic halide so that means double bond ch2 halide is called allylic halide triple bond uh, uh, ch halide is called propargyl uh, halide so that's the only the difference here double bond double bond means uh, halylic triple bond means 
propargy. So that means this halide can be replaced by using the argano lithium cuprate. And uh, the obtained, obtained compounds are called propargyl substituted products. So with this, I will uh, go to the next slide, next uh, one that is a reaction with the vinyl halide. So reaction with vinyl, vinyl means a double bond. Okay. Right. Here, uh, there is a retention of configuration and uh, reactions occurs at uh, sp2 carbon atom. So why it is retention means the R group, uh, the stereochemistry of the R group is uh, retained. Okay, uh, uh, I think you are aware about, uh, uh, is this a chiral carbon? Because here two, uh, one more H is there. So that means two H are similar compounds. That is the reason it's not a chiral carbon. Of course, this is also not a chiral compound, chiral carbon. But uh, uh, stereochemistry retention means so what, what should be, there should be a double bond here. So there should be a double bond here. So that means if there is a double bond, what we can say that uh, uh, now we can say that uh, this, uh, this is in a trans position, trans group. So that means in the product also trans is retained. So that means what you need to do, you need to make a double bond here. So that means here what is happening, a, a bromine which is attached to a double bond is replaced with CH3. Uh, so what is the name of this compound? It's a dimethyl lithium cuprate, lithium dimethyl cuprate. So this lithium dimethyl cuprate uh, replaces uh, Br with the CH3. So how means uh, there will be a, uh, what is the stereochemistry present in the substrate that is retained in the stereochemistry of the product. So that is the reason it's called retention of configuration. Here, uh, the small thing you need to note down that. So you need to make a, a, a double bond here and also make a double bond here. So you make a double bond here and make a double bond here. So here, uh, this is a cis configuration uh, after making a double bond here. Then when it is treated with the uh, uh, lithium dialkyl cuprate, this bromide is replaced with the CH3 of the lithium dialkyl cuprate and the retention of configuration is obtained. So how this uh, retention of configuration occurs? So if you want to look into that, then one should uh, look into the uh, mechanism. So this is the mechanism. So look here. here uh, I am, uh, what is that? During the mechanism, there is a double bond, okay? So, so what will happen here? So when a, a trans compound, what is this trans? This one, this one I am taking. The first one uh, trans uh, compound I am taking here. And uh, this uh, trans one, when it is, re when it is react with the dimethyl lithium cuprate, so what will happen? there will be a bond formation. How the bond formation? Uh, there will be a replacement of Br and there will be a new bond formation between the copper and uh, uh, sp2 carbon atom. So this is the one. Then uh, at this stage, copper will have a minus three state and it's also called as D8 configuration and uh, uh, more particularly it is a square planar and it is having a plus three state of the copper. And uh, this here, this one undergoes syn, syn elimination. Syn elimination means what? So this uh, bonded pair can form a bond with this carbon and this is going out. So that is called syn elimination. So that means 
simultaneous bond formation between the carbon and the sp2 carbon atom and this the bond between the copper and carbon is going out so that is a, a retention of configuration so here there is a trans this is also a trans so whatever the stereochemistry present in the substrate it is retained in the product so that's called a retention of configuration then uh, suppose tosylate group so tosylate group means i think you know that a primary alcohol so methyl alcohol is a primary alcohol benzyl alcohol is a primary alcohol isopropyl alcohol is a secondary alcohol okay that means a primary alcohol or a secondary alcohol when it is treated with a ptsa what is ptsa para toluene sulfonyl uh, sulfonic acid para toluene sulfonic acid that means C ch3 c6h4 uh, so3h is called uh, uh, ch3 c6h4 so3h is called ptsa so what it will do it will uh, remove water okay what uh, oh from uh, ptsa uh, h from the primary alcohol and there will be a obtained compounds is called tosylates okay these compounds are called tos ots is called tosylates so what is the need of doing this one because a primary alcohol oh is the group so removal of oh oh is not a better living group in order to convert oh into a better living group it is uh, converted into tosylate now this ots will go out so when there is a approach of nucleophile here the nucleophile is uh, r group of the copper so dialkyl uh, uh, lithium cuprate act as a nucleophile that means there will be a new bond formation between this r and this r so that's what the carbon carbon bond form the product is obtained okay so this is about uh, one more uh, uh, substitution uh, reactions of uh, organo copper compounds so with this i will take a few more example i think you are aware about uh, uh, what is the name of this compound i think you are aware about borneal okay uh, borneal when it is treated with the uh, tos ptsa it will convert into uh, uh, tosylate borneal tosylate okay otherwise boronyl tosylate so here ots uh, is a tosylate that can be replaced with uh, uh, r2 uh, uh, dialkyl lithium cuprate and here what is the thing important you need to remember this is not the sn1 reaction i think you are aware about the sn1 reaction and sn2 reaction so sn2 reaction means inversion of configuration so why it is inversion because a nucleophile is attacked from the other side okay so that is the reason you will get a uh, inversion of configuration so whatever the here axial position of the o tosylate and this one is equatorial position and this is a inversion of configuration okay and then in the case of uh, gilman reagent so here here gilman reagent means uh, dialkyl uh, lithium cuprate is the gilman reagent in acidic hydrogen or alpha carbon is not eliminated so that means you know that uh, this is the carbonyl carbon and this is the alpha carbon and this alpha carbon is having the alpha hydrogen so this alpha hydrogen is not eliminated what it means it means that it's not uh, di di gilman reagent is not a base it is a nucleophile so i think you are aware about one more thing what is that lda what is lda lithium diisopropyl amide no lithium diisopropyl is amide is a base but not a 
nucleophile. So in this uh, dimethyl or dialkyl lithium cuprate is a nucleophile but not the base because it does not obstruct the proton. So what is happening here? So uh, there will be a new bond formation between the methyl group of the copper and then uh, uh, tosylate attached carbon. So tosylate is going out, it's a living group. So this is about uh, what is called as uh, substitution uh, reactions. So uh, uh, more, uh, uh, and uh, I will take uh, one more example also. So here, uh, reaction with the uh, halyl halide. So halyl halide means C double bond CH, CH2Cl group is called halyl chloride. Okay, uh, C double bond CH, CH2 group is called allyl group. So uh, what will happen? A halylic chloride, when it is treated with uh, dimethyl uh, copper lithium. So there will be a new bond formation between this carbon and the methyl group of the copper. So when there is a new bond formation between the copper uh, methyl group of the copper and uh, uh, CH2 group of the allyl, then this bond pair is moving over here. When this bond pair is moving over here, this chlorine will go out. Chlorine will go out. So that is how a compound is obtained. Okay. So this uh, this CH3, uh, this CH3 is obtained from the uh, methyl half argano copper compound, and it, this is a byproduct. It will go out. So I think you are aware about uh, this is one more thing. Uh, this compound is called acetoxy. CO, o, CO, CH3 is called acetoxy. Acetoxy, uh, a double bond containing compounds. So what will happen here? This methyl group attached to a uh, sp2 carbon atom, but uh, does not attack uh, this carbon, OK? So that is the difference, OK? All, uh, you need to remember, dimethyl cuprate attacks uh, this particular uh, double bond, means sp2 carbon atom, not the sp3 carbon atom. So that's what you need to remember. So there will be a new bond formation between this carbon and the uh, methyl group of the copper. So when there is a new bond formation between the methyl group of the copper and this carbon, this bond pair is coming over here. And this acetoxy is a living group. It will go out. So that is how the product is obtained. This is the product is obtained. And then I will take one more. Uh, uh, what is the name of this compound? This here also acetoxy is there. Okay, here also acetoxy is the living group. Then uh, there will be a new bond formation between this carbon and this carbon. So when there is a new bond formation between this carbon and this carbon, this bonded pair is going over here and this acetoxy is going out. So that is how the product is obtained. So I think uh, here I am taking the proparxyl acetate. So this is the uh, proparxyl. So proparxyl means triple bond containing triple bond containing carbon. Okay, uh, such com such compounds are called proparxyl compounds. And here uh, we are taking a proparxyl acetate. Okay, so this compound is called proparxyl. It's a general name. Okay, triple bond plus carbon is called proparxyl group. So that uh, uh, triple bond carbon is attached to a acetoxy group. That is the reason it's called proparxyl acetate. So what will happen? A proparxyl acetate when it is treated with uh, uh, dimethyl cuprate. So that means there will be a new bond formation between this carbon and this carbon. So one, once there is a bond formation between this carbon and this carbon, 
this bond pair is going over here when there is a uh, movement of this bond pair to here then uh, then acetoxy it will be the leaving group when the acetoxy is going out a compound is obtained is called allyl compound so what is the difference between allene and allylic allylic means double bond ch ch2 group is called allylic what is allene allene means double bond double bond so double bond double bond is called allene group of course allene will uh, exit in a uh, stereomers okay uh, allene stereochemistry i think you are aware about it so uh, uh, when there is a uh, plane of uh, plane of i think uh, this allenes are exhibiting the stereochemistry because of the uh, chiral uh, plane okay so when the plane is passing through like this more particularly this carbon if uh, 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 other side okay both the side a and a dash b and b dash a and a dash should not be the same b and b dash should not be the same but in this case b and b dash is same so that is the reason this moiety is not uh, 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 chiral active because of uh, chiral uh, uh, plane of chiral uh, uh, compound so this is not active because uh, both the sides ch3 are there if this ch3 is different means then there is a possibility of exhibiting uh, two compounds okay right and uh, here so this is one more example of course this might also contain a, uh, a propargyl acetate uh, one so here uh, what is as usual the methyl group it is uh, attacks to a, a, a ch2 group okay ch of the carbon carbon triple bond when there is a new bond formation between this carbon and this carbon this bonded pair is going over and uh, uh, this bond pair is a leaving group it will go out so this is about the product obtained and uh, the name of this compound so what you can observe so this uh, this particular compound also what you can observe this is ch2 this is ch2 this is ch2 this is ch2 and this is chohs so this also it's not optically have to because uh, a and a dash is the same compound that is the reason of course the compound is allene so with this i will go to the next slide so next slide is about the reaction with the epoxide so epoxide means uh, a three membered ring with oxygen okay is called epoxide so more particularly a ring opening reactions occurs when uh, dimethyl uh, uh, lithium cuprate is added to a epoxide so that means there will be a new bond formation between this methyl group and this carbon what is this carbon this carbon is the less hindered carbon whereas this carbon is more hindered carbon so that means methyl uh, is added to less hindered carbon so thereby leads to the product and the product is a, a inversion of configuration so why this is inversion of configuration because it follows sn2 reaction and uh, what is the other thing uh, yeah that's all so here also i am taking one more epoxide so this epoxide also when it is treated with the dimethyl lithium cuprate so it gives trans product so the obtained uh, stereochemistry of the product is trans this also a trans okay so here i am taking a few more example uh, this uh, epoxide uh, is a cis epoxide but when it is react with the uh, dimethyl lithium cuprate the product obtained one is trans similarly here i am taking one more of course this is also a propargyl related one and uh, there will be a new bond formation between this carbon and this carbon 
and the bond pair is coming over here and there will be a ring opening so the octaned allene okay this is a of course uh, what you can observe now so this allene is a stereochemically uh, uh, optically active compound because uh, the groups attached to this double bond are different this is different this is different and here this uh, what is called as a uh, uh, H and CH3 is different. This is optically active allene compound. So you can uh, you can find out the R and S configuration of uh, this mighty by using the MP rule. Then I will take one more example. So uh, this is also a epoxide, more particularly methyl uh, iso uh, isopropene epoxide so what it will do uh, uh, it won't attack the uh, epoxy carbon but it will uh, attack a sp2 carbon atom so there will be a new bond formation between the uh, methyl of the copper and the sp2 carbon atom once there is a new bond formation this bond pair is going over here and this bond pair okay uh, picks up proton and this will fix up proton forming a enol okay enol it's not an enol it's not an alpha enol it's a beta enol is uh, obtained and then uh, a reaction with acid chloride acid what is the functional group of the acid chloride uh, cocl okay cocl containing compounds are called acid chlorides so here cyclohexyl carboxyl uh, acid, acid chloride when it is treated with uh, isobutyl okay diisobutyl uh, lithium cuprate so diisobutyl lithium cuprate so what it will do there will be a, a new bond formation between the this bonded pair and uh, uh, this carbonyl carbon and cl is going out so similarly, here I'm taking uh, acid chloride as well as alkyl halide. This is an alkyl halide and this is an acid chloride. As you are aware that acid chlorides are more reactive compared to the alkyl halide. So that is the reason if you are using a one equivalent of uh, 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 what is called as a dialkyl lithium cuprate. So what it will do, it replaces this acid chloride. So that is what the a ketone is obtained. Suppose if we are using a two equivalent, then there is a replacement of other halide which is attached to the same compound. So that is the reason two methyl groups are obtained. And then reaction with the uh, uh, alpha beta unsaturated acid chlorides. Of course, this is not a alpha beta unsaturated chloride. So this example is the alpha beta unsaturated. I think this uh, structure is repeated, isn't it? Here also is there, okay? The structure is repeated. And uh, uh, what is this? This is a alpha beta unsaturated acid chlorine. So that means this chlorine can be replaced with ethyl group of the uh, uh, copper attached one. So the product is methyl ketone, alpha beta unsaturated ketones are obtained. So this is about what is called as a, a substitution reactions of uh, uh, argano lithium, more particularly Willmann reagent. Okay. So one more parameter is there that is called uh, 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 one four addition reactions of uh, uh, argano copper reagent so that maybe i will discuss in my next class and uh, uh, if you have any doubts up to this you can ask me if there are no doubts uh, maybe you can log out